Hi, this is Rinkes Patel and uh, welcome to next tutorial of Siemens NX. Okay, in this tutorial we will learn how to use coordinate system of drafting. Okay, we are uh, loading the file, opening the file, coordinate. I have already a I have already created a part of simple NX file. It has I think four kind of every operations extrusion, simple hole creation, threaded hole creation and chamfer. You can see that chamfer of 2 mm. Okay now first we all uh, go through the drafting system of Siemens NX. You can see file and drafting. Now it will ask uh, three options use template, standard templates i mean standard size templates and custom size templates you can see use template that uh, already a siemens nx basic templates or inbuilt template standard size templates you can see different kind of templates sizes and uh, dif different type of scales and uh, custom size you can go through custom size your custom size as your paper size okay we will use standard size of a4 size and now here uh, drawing sheet name uh, you can change example example one okay done now units you can use millimeters or inches if you are working millimeters just select millimeters and if you are in India or uh, Asian countries you can use third angle projection and if you are Britain or US citizen uh, there must be use first angle projection okay we are using third angle projection and okay uh, then you will get view creation wizard there is four kind of op uh, operations part options orientation and layout we are simply next and options you can select uh, whatever you want to the property of hidden light hidden lines and preview style uh, we must select for iframe then next uh, there are many kind of orientation we will simply choose top then next and uh, here the layouts we can choose two kind of layouts basically i think uh, two kind of layouts is enough in this design then just finish now uh, we can drag the design by its place or put it everywhere anywhere you want yeah. now in this tutorial as I told you we will use coordinate system this is coordinate system or you can just uh, type coordinate and you will get this is the coordinate system I think I have a problem with okay ordinate I have a problem with spelling I mean you can try ordinate system this will list it this way. okay close we just select this and uh, we can say there are totally many kinds of options single multiple dimensions but we will use only simple dimensions I think single dimensions is better option to start with then references <coughs> we can see that there is two references select origin or select option <coughs> all the other options are disabled now so we are uh, using origin now we should uh, put this origin or this i think this will be better to give ordinate one okay now you can see that every options are visible and uh, now we are seeing the uh, select uh, object so we will see this is the corner of uh, this is the opposite corner of our design and we are selecting this corner uh, end point okay now we can see that here only vertical distance are shown in this design or uh, if you if you are using two dimension vertical or uh, horizontal you can uh, put it uh, active perpendicular tick mark active perpendicular and you will get two kind of dimensions horizontal or vertical you can place everywhere now we will place 
there. Okay, here we go. And uh, complete. Our first dimensions are uh, complete. Okay, now I will examine some more options. There is a another option settings. Oh, this is original is basically completely default. Margin is already default. But you can change settings here lettering just remove that arrowhead you can uh, change arrowheads color by this arrowhead line field arrow arrow uh, types of arrow <coughs> I will choose field arrow and uh, the thickness of size dimension side to you can change dimension side and uh, put anything of this uh, this kind of line okay now we are getting uh, we are going through text text has a uh, more options we should learn about orientation not flag not append uh, dimension text okay we can uh, see that uh, here we can ch change the font of dimension text here we will go to Arial okay and regular not bold I think height mm, uh, 315 is enough I think and tolerance tax if you are working in tolerance and then close now uh, we will see that this, this will ask for next, next uh, dimensions so this is first dimension I think this line has 70 mm up and uh, 40 mm of this line now we are going to coordinate we are going to give coordinate system of this center mark this hole existing hole now you can see that here we go 62 and 6 placing you see that the different of uh, old dimension and new dimension here the 6 are thicker and in aerial of uh, aerial fonts and these are all old faults okay now third one is this so the 62 is 62 so we will disable active baseline and only perpendicular okay and here this this is only a 6 so we can put it here okay yeah overlay on this or uh, we can just put by there bottom side and this uh, now this has two kind of dimension we will active this and now we are completed okay so we can see that now we can adjust everywhere anywhere we can put or we can delete by just deleting this okay. you see that now if uh, we will take single dimensions ordinate system this is about our old, old ordinate system and this active baseline disable baseline and uh, active baseline we are done ok we are done with our coordinate system now there are chamfer options in drafting system we can see that there are two options one a reference object and another is chamf chamfer object we are selecting this chamfer object and reference is automatically selected but if you are changing the reference line you can change the reference line this how so we will change this how because the workers can understand it easily so here two parameters 2 into 45 45 means this is the angle of slope 
and two is this is the uh, this is the dimension of one side of chamfer. Okay, now we can see that every dimension is complete in this part, and uh, in here we will simply use rapid dimension from this part to this part, and then we can put here six. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any queries, just comment it or you can mail me. Thank you very much.